Good morning from beautiful Paphos, Cyprus. The last time we left you guys, we had just landed after the craziest and longest travel day that we have ever had. To catch you guys up, we spent three days battling jet lag, and then we drove here to Paphos, where we are gonna home base while we explore the rest of this island. Yep, and so today we are exploring the Paphos Archaeological Museum and the Archaeological Park, where we're gonna see the Tomb of the Kings and some other cool sites. Tough climb out of there. Okay, we found another one. I'm gonna follow Allie. Hello. These look like fingernail scratches. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Yeah. And it leads like out this way. So these are just like massive rock formations, I think, that they like carved out. I believe the type of tomb that like Lazarus and Jesus were buried in, sort of like little little caves or little rock formations. So as you can probably tell, there's a whole bunch of tombs here. It's a network of several different tombs. Some of them connect, some of them don't, uh, but there's a lot of different entrances that you can access and you just walk down the stairs and you can kind of walk around and uh, take a peek. Some of them you can actually go into. Allie's a little too creeped out to do that. It's dead people. It's just super creepy. <laughs> feeling some lunch. We wanted something a little bit authentic, a little bit local, so we came to Handros Taverna, which is the oldest taverna in Paphos. We're starting with a uh, carafe house wine and a selection of dips. This one is tzatziki, this one is eggplant, this one is tahini, that one is hummus, and I missed the name of that one. Let's try them all. Ooh, the bread is warm. Of course he goes straight for the hummus. I'm a hummus guy. Oh man, the hummus is warm. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Try that unknown one. Okay. It looks like mashed potatoes. It does. I'm wondering if it's garlic. It's actually kind of similar to like a hummus. Huh. Yes, just less intense. I don't know. You'll probably know, babe. You're better at this kind of thing. That's true. All right, I'm gonna eat too because Let's if see. I don't start, Nick will eat all the bread. What'd you get? Yum. I got a little mixed grill, some pork souvlaki, and then like a uh, Cypress style meatball. Forget the exact name for it, apologies. But it looks good, let's give it a shot. Man, they know how to grill meat here. I got moussakas, which is like eggplant lasagna type thing. And it's delicious. And we made a dent in the dips. We'll keep pulling from there though. I can see myself dipping some of this pork over in there. <laughs> Probably not supposed to do that, but. We're at the Paphos archaeological site, which houses a lot of different ruins, ancient ruins, Roman ruins, and we're gonna go explore.
So babe, this doesn't look Roman or ancient. You know, I don't know. <laughs> old. I don't know about ancient. Okay, we've hit our archaeological sites for the day here in Paphos. Stay tuned because tomorrow we're going on a fun little road trip. Good morning guys, today is road trip day. I put together a nice little route through the Trudos Mountains. And if we're lucky, some wineries. This man needs more coffee. I could use it. I'm really getting tired of instant coffee. It's not bad, it's just not the best. And we're trying not to pay for coffee every day, but we are in Europe. So there are much better options than the Nestle Gold Instant that we've been drinking. It wouldn't be a road trip without some road trip snacks and beverages. And I found this little Greek, Cypriot, I don't know, brand of coffee. Apparently it is black coffee with sugar. Didn't know there was sugar, but anyway, here we go. It's kind of like sweet tea. Ew. Like if, but like coffee? So stop one is the birthplace of Aphrodite. This is the rock in which she was born out of the sea. Supposedly. So our second stop on today's Trudos Mountain Tour was the Lamburi Winery. And they just gave us this amazing tasting. This, this winery we found had excellent reviews online and not only did they do a bunch of Cypriot wines, they also made olive oil and then several different- Like liqueurs. Yeah, I mean, and, and it was like a broad range. They did gin, they did brandy, they did like whiskey. Like cream liqueur. Yeah. yeah. It, it was excellent. Met some really lovely people. They were twins. Yeah. The ladies who did our tour. It was so cool. It was awesome. If you're going to do it, uh, I highly recommend booking a few days in advance, but even just showing up kind of spontaneously, it ended up absolutely blowing any other wine tour I've ever had. And it out was of like 750 euro a person. Yeah. It was crazy. And we we bought, bought a bottle of wine. Yes, now we're gonna eat some picnic in the car to our next destination. We've got some pretzels. Yeah, you can have those. To share. Some olives. Nick will have a few of those. And I made some sandwiches. Yay! There's also some bananas, but we probably won't eat those until later if we eat them. Look at this. Wingardium Leviosa. Next stop, Mount Olympus. Mm. 
So we officially drove to the top of Mount Olympus. And it was snowing. And it was snowing and the visibility was low. Also, there was a military zone yep. at the top, which yep. is kind of interesting. So we had to turn around because we were forbade from going any further. Yes, forbidden. So now we make our way down the mountain. Final stop for the day is at the Sangarides Winery and uh, enjoying a nice glass of the indigenous variety. Very, very good. And a very pretty view. Well, this place was just about to close when we arrived, so we didn't get to do a full tasting, but the glass we had was very, very delicious. And now we're gonna head back to Paphos. So we decided to end our road tour with a delicious dinner. We're here at Muse. It has a gorgeous view over the city and some food. Okay. We got the halloumi bruschetta, which is like, halloumi is like now in my top favorite cheeses ever. I think there's some pesto on it. so fresh tomato there's some basil and some pesto sauce do i have it in my teeth yes <laughs> all right dinner is here i got the chicken kebab came with a little salad and some chips some pita it's really really good i got a steak sandwich definitely not traditional greek i don't think but they know how to grill some meat here, so I'm kind of excited about that. I know, it's got some type of truffle sauce that's like really wafting the, in my nose. The bread looks really good. Yeah. Yum. Okay, we're gonna eat. This one's for you, Mel. We just made it home. And I would say that our road trip day through the mountains of Cyprus was an absolute success. Wonderful. It was so good. But we're tired, so we're going to change into our jammies and get a good night's rest. Maybe we'll watch an episode of The Office. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm.